Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, my 2023 goals and how that went and what my goals are for 2024. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. My name is Janelle and on here I do all things budgeting. I also include work week lunches, grocery hauls, meal planning, and lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So I actually have like my notebook right here. So I'm going to just be kind of looking down from time to time with my notes just to make sure I don't go off on the tangent and don't actually get to where I need to get. Okay, so first we're going to talk about 2023. 2023 was all about learning, um, growing. Um, I did some great things. Um, I did go back to my old company and I am making more money. I am enjoying my job a whole lot more and I have grown so much in my position. Um, I do know that I'm being considered for a promotion if things fall in place for a community for me. If you guys don't know, I work in property management. So um, I was able to do that. I was also very happy, um, you know, with just life in general, watching my little girl like grow up. Y'all, she's going to be two years old in January. It's so stinking crazy. Okay. So for 2023, I tried to keep it very, very simple. And I technically only had two goals. Okay. The first goal was to pay down 20% of my overall debt. And actually, whenever I started this, my debt was at $48,435.20. We are ending off the year at $16,021 and some change. Come on now. Okay, but let's be truthful though. I did pay off 20% of my debt. I did have debt that I added on and paid that back off. And then I also added a little bit of debt towards the end of this year. One of the biggest things that got paid off was my car in... September, I was in a car accident and my car got total and it was paid off. And then my husband bought me a new car and he's the one that's actually covering the car. Originally, the plan was that within a year, um, I would take that car payment back from him. But then he has mentioned recently that I should not worry about it. So we'll just see. But if I can go ahead and pay off my debt and save up our money and all of that kind of stuff, and I can really like fund our household budget so that he doesn't have to put any money and he can focus or have extra money to put towards his debt, then that would also be a plan as well too. Shout out to Hubs. Um, but um, so that was like a big thing. That was a lot of my budget, uh, a lot of my debt was my car. Um, and so, yeah, but I did actually pay off 20% of my debt. So um, that was a really good thing for me, y'all. And then the second one really was just try to save, save as much money as I can. And I got to say that like kudos to me because I did save some money, y'all. I was able to fully fund baby girl's tuition with our savings. I was also able to fully fund our vacation and not have to spend anything like whenever we got back home i was able to just pay for everything and we were good to go and y'all know if y'all was watching my channel how i was just throwing money in there throwing money in there throwing money in there um i was able to save up to make sure that i have enough money for my six month um what was it car insurance um i haven't showed y'all yet but y'all our hoa um, dues are fully funded for 2024, depending on when y'all see this. I don't know if you'll see it in 2024 or prior to that, but, um, that is fully funded as well. And so is my car insurance as due in January. So like, you know, I may not have thousands and thousands of dollars, like in our savings, account, savings account to show for, but we've, kept ourselves from getting into too, 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 too much extra debt. So um, super excited about, you know, getting into 2024 and the things that we have accomplished in 2023. I can't remember if anything else like has happened, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe if I remember, I'll talk about it in my budget closeout. So y'all stay tuned for that one. 
So now we're gonna go over to 2024 and I have my notes here as to um, what our goals are. My goals, once again, are concise um, and they have some kind of purpose and not just trying to throw out a million different things that I want to accomplish. When I was coming up with these goals, you all, I thought about this. Life is a journey, not just an accomplishment. So some of the things that I'm going to talk about are things that I want to continue to do and not just like I've arrived at, right? So think about that. Think about that, okay? So uh, <laughs> the first um, goal that I have to start in 2024 is to be more resourceful, okay? I have been talking about this to myself for maybe like two or three months now, and it's crazy because like all the people that I watch, like some of my favorite budgeters, they're all like, I'm doing a no spend, you know, next year, I'm doing a low spend buy, like all of this kind of stuff. And I'm like, man, great minds think alike. Um, but I wanna be more resourceful. And what I mean by that is I wanna use what I have. For me, I don't like to spend on myself if my husband or my daughter needs something. Like I'm so quick to like purchase things or if the house needs something. But what I need to realize is a lot of the things that I think we need, we already have it in this house and it's just not functioning the way that it should be. And so next year, my goal is to take my time and go through my house and figure out how the things that we already have in our house, how we can better use them and serve purpose. If it serves no purpose, you know, throw it away. Okay. Um, I want to kind of get back more to like my minimalistic kind of like not all the clutter and glam and all that stuff. Like if it needs to be in the house, it's in the house. If it's not, if it doesn't need to, then let's get rid of it. But there is one thing though, is that our house kind of lacks storage. And then we're also missing some like furniture pieces here and there. So those may be things that I purchase somewhere down the line to add to storage and get things a little bit more functional but for the most part like we already have the things like i was thinking oh i need to go buy baskets for our pantry girl you don't need no baskets when you was pregnant you bought like 10 of them and then i went and got some and put it in the pantry i was like perfect this works i just saved myself 12 bucks um also with that it's buying less and being less wasteful, right? So like I, I do like bulk shopping and things of that sort. I don't need to buy anything else for next year. I have like 200, um, I think 200, yeah, probably like 200 garbage bags. That will last us for the year, okay? Um, we In the beginning of December, my husband um, got a water treatment system for our household. And with that water treatment, they have paid for five years worth of like organic products for us to use in the house, which we are currently using right now. And I love them. So I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to give somebody a gift basket or something worth of Tide Pods and um, Cascade, um, like dishwashing liquid and um, hand soap, dishwashing liquid, all the good stuff. Okay. Um, because they just don't work in our house. That's a whole nother story, y'all, but we'll talk about it at another point. So I don't need to purchase a lot of things except for like paper towels. So, um, I just want to buy less, buy what we need, eat, use, and then repurchase. Okay. Um, the next one is going to kind of tie into being resourceful is living within our means for 2024. I plan to only spend what I have or what I have budgeted, unless it is a true, true emergency, which is only one that we will have a credit card like debt is baby girl will be in the hospital in January and we need to pay the deductible, which that wasn't something I thought in my mind because I totally forget that our insurance um, renews in January and not in April. And so we just need to pay our $200 deductible for the year. And that's due at her appointment. And we're going to make sure we get that taken care of. But groceries, whatever is budgeted for groceries, we are just going to work within that grocery budget. And that is it. Okay, if we got to have chicken and rice every day for the whole month to stay in budget, that is what we're going to do. Because y'all, I can't pay off the current debt that I have if I keep on adding to it. Okay, 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 okay. So we are not using my credit card as a crutch. Um, we're only going to use the money that I have. And then... Um, 
I'm not going to really be counting no spends, but we just not spend it. We don't need anything. Um, I think um, for the end of the year, like pretty much we have everything that we need. There is like a couple of things in baby girl's room, like we're going to be transitioning her bed and um, I'm going to get her bed sheet, but that will come out of our household budget. So it's not like we're spending something that we don't have. Um, and then, you know, things of that sort, but we are not going to be spending what we don't have to spend. If it can't be charged to the card and then go back and pay for or wait until our paycheck comes in and then make the payment, then we, do, we just don't need to do it. Like I said, unless it's like a true, true emergency, we're not doing it. Next is reduced debt. These are all coming down to each other, right? So if I'm being resourceful and I'm living within my means, that means that I have the money to go ahead and reduce the current debt that we have, okay? Um, so that means I am trying to reduce the debt that I have that $16,000 to zero. That is the ultimate goal if I could do it in 2024. But the goal is to really try and pay off at least two debts. Um, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, and so that is the goal is to just reduce the debt. Don't add any additional debt as of January the 1st, except for that $200. Um, but other than that, like I don't need to add any more debt. Let's just pay this the you know these things off and let's be done with the debt and we can have the money to work on our savings and our other financial goals next is going to be a big one for me and that is to be present and not and what i mean by being present is like i need to be more active like in my life like when i come home i complain about like me being tired and, and not in a like naggy way, y'all, but I'm just like, oh, I'm tired. So I'm just going to sit in the couch after I cook and not do anything. Um, but then I complain that I'm not losing weight. Well, Janelle, it's because you're not being active. Your job is very sedentary. And so if you're not like moving around and just keep going until it's time to go to sleep, like you serve yourself no purpose, right? So um, I want to just be more active. I want to do a lot more things with baby girl. Like the summer is going to be here before you know it. Um, we have our backyard and just getting her outside. It's super cold out here right now. Yesterday we were outside. I know y'all don't even know what yesterday was, but we were outside the other day, okay? And she finally like understands the concept of like running and catching a ball and stuff. So we're just like outside playing and it's so nice to see her get, you know, fresh air. She does it at school. She can do it at home. We're doing more activities and just keeping myself going, 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 going. Okay. Um, I want to just have like more family time, more me time, just like focusing on the day and not trying to get too ahead of myself thinking like, oh my gosh, it's January. I need to be focused on stuff that's going to happen in October. Like, yes, it's okay to plan for the future, but you also need to focus on what's going on today. And I need to do more of that because sometimes I'll be going to work on a Monday and... I'm not even worried about Monday. I'm worried about Thursday and dreading about something that hasn't even happened or may not even happen. So I need to be more present. Um, I also want to learn something new. I don't know what it is that I want to learn, but I just want to learn something new in 2024. So that will be a goal for the whole year is to learn something new and continue to apply it, whether it's to my work life or my personal life. Um, and I just want to... Y'all know I go through this whole like eating situation and I have on here that I want to eat healthier. I just want to do better. I just want to do better. Whatever better is for me is what I'm going to do. I found out that my husband's insurance that we're under will cover a dietitian. So maybe sometime in 2024, I'll get to sit down and talk to someone and get on a like eating schedule that works for me that I won't just like fall off of. Um, low carb does work for me, but then I feel like terrible when I don't eat low carb because like, like, I don't know the difference between like when I'm eating low carb and then I go and eat something that I'm not like my body, that swing is just terrible. Um, and then... Um, yeah, so I just want to focus overall on being whole, being here, 
using what I have and not being wasteful, y'all. So those are actually my four goals. I know there's no like specific financial savings goals or anything like that. Because like I said, y'all, it is a journey, not just like a full on destination type situation. I want to be able to apply this in 2025 and 2026, except for reducing debt because we're going to be debt free. Um, but you know, just to continue to be present, continue to be resourceful and saving and things of that sort. So y'all, those are going to be my four goals that I have for 2024. Um, I've already started trying to work on them and I just want to continue to grow in life and my budget and all the things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below on some of your 2024 goals that you have. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in the next one.